Hey guys, so here are all four of my Millennium Falcons. Uh, these are more like the play scale and the UCS ones that I have. So basically the UCS one is minifigure scale, it's really big. Um, and is really just kind of dwarfs all the other Millennium Falcons here. Uh, I can't believe that in like, you know, I remember Lego had made the one Millennium Falcon in 2011. And then the only, the only ones before that were the original UCS one. And then the one from like 2001 or 2002 that they had, which was really, really, really bad looking. And I remember I didn't get the 2011 one. Although there might have been another one between 2002 and 11. I just don't really remember. But I remember getting one really older version. Um, and it was okay. I played with it when I was younger, but... Um, I never, I didn't really have a Millennium Falcon for like the longest time, and then 2015, they finally made this version, and, um, I thought that was really nice, it came with a lot of good figures, I'm not gonna really compare any figures, even though I probably have all of them, uh, you could probably go find another video on that some other time, um, I just don't really feel like doing that, but, um, anyways, I'm just kind of comparing the ships, so basically we got this one in 2015, which still kept the basic individual panel design and I just ripped this thing right off but it's okay it's easy to fix anyways so basically kept this panel design had the new uh, rectangular dish uh, came with quite a good f figure selection um and it was kind of made to be a little like messier I kind of cleaned it up compared to the actual set there was more like um just random pieces just to make it look like you know it's older and you know the Millennium Falcon hasn't really been used that much which was I mean that's what it was like in the movie so I don't really mind it I just like mine being really clean and looking nice so I just kind of fix it up myself and then you know 2017 comes around we get the UCS one I didn't think I was gonna get it I just saw it my dad was one who really 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 wanted it so I just kind of was like okay I'll build it <laughs> and then so yeah I've had this one for two years now almost three um and yeah this is a really good set i kind of honestly if it was me i'd rather have the ucs star destroyer or even the death star too but the ucs money back one's fine it's really detailed and high quality and then um yeah it has some you know play features i guess but i took my used to have c3po seeing han and leia kissing in there but i moved my han and leia into the cockpit with chewie in the back and then also over here, there's another little scene where I have Rey, Finn, and then old Han Solo. And I think there's a, no, there's not a BB-8 in there, but I think the set did come with a BB-8, and I just don't really remember where I put him at. And then it also came with a Porg, which then came later with a different colored body in a uh, $20 set, so no big deal. I have those, but they're somewhere else. And then 2018, I was not expecting them to make another Million Falcon for the new Solo movie. And I was like totally shocked that they were making another one since we just literally had gotten this one in 2015 version. So I was like, okay, no big deal. I guess it makes sense for the Solo movie. You know, and it looks pretty good. It has the really nice color scheme. And, you know, the little detachable pod here, or skate pod, I'm trying to take it off. And then, you know, still looks pretty good. Had really good figures, too. Um, I have all my figures displayed for all the solo movie stuff. Um, I'm trying to push this back in. But anyways, it kept the same panel flapping design that that one had and so did like the other older versions have as well and um this one was like really neat though just because it was more like a you know a, more like a luxury vehicle for lando rather than a smuggler's vehicle for Han. and then in 2019 recently i think over the summer or sometime i saw the leaked pictures or some of the new sets for episode 9 and i could not believe they were making another Millennium falcon and then to go along with that, just another A wing and Y wing and X wing. So I was like, this is that. That's just so cheap to me. I feel like Lego, or not Lego, but just Star Wars alone, just really went blame on ship designs for the entire sequel trilogy. But I got this one for a hundred bucks 
mainly because I love the figure selection. And this one is really nice. It's This one works both as pretty much a new, as a better looking, or like, you see how there's more like red and more brown? It's to kind of show that it's older and it hasn't really been used. And I feel like this just kind of looks like it's been used better, if that makes sense. Like this definitely looks more like the, um, just what looks like the Force Awakens version. I mean, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like where it's just a little more older looking, less used, less taken care of. This looks a little more clean, like it's from episode six or the original trilogy. So this one works good for both trilogies. And so does this one. All you have to do is just take out the different dish. And so, yeah, and also minifigures on this one is great. I love the old Lando minifigure and even the, um, the really cool hair. I'll just I'll show you. But this is the figures from that set. I thought all the droids were really cool. Um, the new Finn was really cool to me. But I really want to point out this figure because this guy was it wasn't really that important to the movie. He helped deliver the message from the spy to the resistance. And he was actually a cameo from Mark Hamill. If you didn't know that, that's really cool. But I thought this figure was so awesome. And I wanted to get him even if I couldn't get the set, which... I went online or onto the Facebook marketplace and I found it for hundred bucks sealed. So I went ahead, bought it, and then I built it. And it was pretty fun. I, I, I really wanted to build another Millennium Falcon. I was almost considering just parting this one out or not parting it out, but like just taking it out piece by piece and then just rebuilding it just for the fun of it. And then I went ahead and saw that one online for cheap. So I went and bought it myself. So that was really fun. And yeah, so I kind of rambled on. I don't really stick to a script or give a whole lot of effort into these videos which kind of sounds bad but I do them for fun and so I hope you'd enjoy I'm sorry if like I was talking about something that you couldn't see um I'm kind of like looking with my own eyes rather than through the camera of my phone so other than that um thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and goodbye